Welcome to Fayetteville, Arkansas, a place where legends have long stood for excellence. Names like Broyles, Holtz, McFadden, Jones, and Johnson. And when they call the Hogs, it is a rite of passage. We've got a sensational matchup for you. Fans have been filing in and getting ready for this game. As we'll see a squad from the Big 12, the Colorado Buffaloes, taking on a team from the SEC, the Arkansas Razorbacks. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. Coming out with it, it's a tag now. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. He's going to pass. Pulls it in. It's a tag now. At the 35, he's open. Lowers that shoulder and delivers the blow. And they get him out of bounds after an explosive run, just chewing up yardage along the way. Well, after that last play, you can see how electrifying this guy is and how special he is after he makes the catch. If I'm on offense, I'm trying to find a lot of ways to get him touches in this game. They had this offense backed up. Now they have to be staggering. Can they deliver another punch on first and 10 from inside the 40? And he was just a couple of steps away from taking that one even further after the catch. Remember some of the years when the Hawks spent a lot of time in the Wildcat just running it? You don't have to do that with this guy quarterback. And it just makes you less predictable, right? You, you got a running back in there, you know you're not going to throw it very much, but when they do have the ability to push the ball down the field and get some guys out of the box, it makes this offense even more exciting. Makes the catch! And he was dying to push his way in there, but he's knocked down at the three. You can just see the command this guy has of the offense. He's been picking this defense apart, matriculating the ball down the field. He's now got him in the red zone, close to the goal line. I wouldn't be surprised if they just keep letting him throw it. Try to get the edge with a quick touch pass. Stop behind the line, he'll lose a yard. Well, I love the aggressive nature of the defense on that play. Everybody playing with eye discipline. They saw the pre-snap motion. They knew who had the football. And you saw guys play with excellent instinct, running downhill and making a tackle. On the run, it's green. And it's caught! Touchdown, Arkansas! You want to talk about a great way to start the game and set the tone early. It's so nice to have a quarterback just get himself into the game, get himself established. You make a couple throws, you lead your offense down the field, you score right off the bat. Could not have been a better start for that QB. And the PAT makes it 7-0. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they cap the drive with a four-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there and ready to go.
He'll bring it out. It's Hunter. Obliterates him. Still on the move. Rolling the dice and bringing it out of the end zone did not pay off. He's out of bounds at the 19. receivers gets it out fast smashes through the tackle that is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays the defense finally able to make the stop big play to start this drive now they'll snap it from the 39 he lobs one high down the left side and it falls in complete but it could have been much much worse as the defender was right there DB does an outstanding job here on the deep pass. Locating the football, no PI, able to swat it away, pass incomplete. Couldn't ask for much more there. A first down, and they're down to the 42. And the Buffaloes come to the line in the hurry up. Pulls and throws off the RPO. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. That was a really nice catch and an even better run after the grab. Yeah, and get that ball to your playmaker. What's good about having him in the slot is he can go either direction. You can get him matched up on somebody that's not as fast. And you watch, he can run away from those linebackers or safeties. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. And there was no question in that scenario. That's where the quarterback was going. He knew he had his receiver in a matchup that he liked, running a route where he would find himself open. Nice job between those two. He'll pick up three before he's downed at the six. Now on second and goal. Wide out in motion. Quarterback flips it ahead quickly to the receiver. Hard-hitting tackle. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. Wants to fire it in the end zone on third and goal. He caught it! They make the stop, and that'll bring the first quarter to a close. That's exactly what they told us they wanted to limit. Yards after the catch, and it pays off on this play. And especially in these situations in third down when you know the ball's going to come out fast, understanding that, breaking on the football, going, making the tackle, and forcing the fourth down. This defense trying to stand tall on fourth and goal from the two. They'll put the tight end in motion. Pushes ahead. He's not going to get there. Stop short on fourth down. And how about the defense coming up big on fourth and short? You know they're going to run the football. Great job stacking the box, getting the big stop. And Arkansas ready to send out this offense. How about that last drive? Just carved him up in the air, David. Yeah, and how about that quarterback? You gave him the ball, and he delivered the goods. Great job taking apart the defense. Fires into traffic. It's picked off. And after the interception and the turnover, this defense has set its offense up for business. As a quarterback, you've got to give your receiver an opportunity to make the play. You've got to put the ball on his body. And that throw gets away a little bit from the QB, and that leads to the tip and the interception. A first down run on the doorstep. He pushes his way down to the four as they get closer and closer. And the Buffaloes want to pick up the tempo. Linebackers shuffling around, trying to keep the quarterback from getting a read. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Man, and that's a frustrating play when you go in reverse near the goal line. Goal to go situations, Palmer. You gotta get those positive yards. You can't go backwards if you're trying to get a touchdown. 
you know, I'm trusting in my quarterback here to make the right decision. Looks like we're going to have to throw it, right? But if it's not open, just throw this thing away. Don't want to take a sack, lose extra yardage here. Just be smart with the football. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And how about the response from this defense? Put in a horrible situation, horrible field position, just that they bowed their necks three times in a row. Yeah, and it's a sudden change situation. And they practice that all week. You never know when they're going to come up, but you have to have guys on the field playing with a sense of urgency. This has been awesome defensively. Well, it's a good news, bad news scenario. You got the pick, and you would have liked to have paid that off with a touchdown, but because it, the drive stalls out, they're still happy to get the field goal. He'll bring it back from inside his five. And good work by the coverage team to knock down the return man. It's a two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can tackle a little something extra on their lead before the break. The Hogs send that offense back onto the field. Well, let's see if this drive goes better than the last one. They were in and out quickly after the quick pick, David. Yeah, first play, big mistake, man. Now, let's get this offense in a little bit of a rhythm. Maybe before you open it up again, Palmer, or do you trust him right away? Uh, he seems to me like the guy maybe that just needs to kind of get into the flow of the game. So maybe you get the running game going here and just give him some easy looks to let him get lathered up. To the air, it's green. Unloads to the wideout. Incomplete, and he threw that one up for grabs and into traffic, fortunate to get it back. Are we sure that he knows what color jersey his receivers are wearing? Threw a pick on the last drive and almost threw another one. Just, just temporarily confused. No big deal. Hey, short memory. Quarterback's got to have those short memories, right? It's behind me. No harm done. Reset. Next play. On third and long, try to convert through the air. And they'll shove him out of bounds after the short game. Really, really nice play, and I love bringing speed on the field. The more dime packages, the better on those third down situations. Now I got faster guys chasing in the back end with the receivers, and when the QB scrambles outside the pocket, I got a DB now going to try to get that QB. Makes all the difference in the world. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. on a drive, David, but chip shot field goals can leave you a little empty. And I think it's great to get points, but the great teams get touchdowns in the red area. you got to get out there this time and execute a little better on this drive. You're absolutely right, David. Generally, the best red zone offenses are the ones that run the ball the best. So, let's see if they can be a little bit more physical in this group. It'll be a first down from the 49-yard line. Makes it pass to Marker. They are finding soft spots in this defense. He's got it down to the 25. Well, there's the offense trying to... And let's hold on just a minute here as the officials are going to have a second look. And you know the standard is indisputable video evidence, and the officials will change the call. Finally, this offense starting to shake the cobwebs and get things moving. It's first and 10. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. You gotta fight fire with fire. You gotta fight speed with speed. There's a receiver with the ball out in the open field trying to get the corner, but a cornerback with the same type of speed and athleticism able to make the tackle. Nice job. Getting some heat. Nowhere close on that one as he got drilled trying to deliver the football, and now they face third down. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Looking for a man, it's Sanders. Makes his connection. They were counting on making a few yards after the catch on third down. Instead, they're staring at four. Yeah, and I think a lot of times you trust your guy. You, you throw it to him and you say, I can make somebody miss or lower my shoulder and get to the sticks. The defense had none of that. Nice job tackling. Nice job forcing the fourth down. Off the RPO, throw right, looking for the chains. And he earns a first down, and boy, did he earn it after taking that lift. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. The Buffaloes have it with a first and ten.
The give to the lone running back. And into the end zone. And he's loose, and he'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Bucks! He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point gives him a three-point lead at 10-7. to A 70-yard touchdown drive, and they finish it off with a 14-yard run for the score. Caught inside the 20, chance for a good return. Gets it all the way out to the 33 before he stops. Arkansas ready to send out this offense. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. That's quite a start to a drive, and now they'll snap it from midfield. He wants to throw. Grabbed over the middle. It's high. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. Got the completion on the last play. Still some work to do on second down. Linebackers moving, trying to confuse the quarterback. He's going for it all. And he makes the catch inside the 10. They make the stop at the five-yard line, and they've got it first and goal. The offense calls timeout. It's the second one they've used this half. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Fast motion from the offense. Quick pass on the jet motion. They'll immediately call timeout. Oh, he was in the backfield immediately. A three-yard loss. Timeout, Arkansas. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Looking downfield, it's green. It's complete. They will score. Touchdown, Razorbacks. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they finish things off with an eight-yard toss for the score. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. Snap it one more time. Let's see how aggressive they are and what's likely the final play of the half. Trying to find his man on first down. Finds his man. It's Hunter. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Timeout called by the offense, and now they just have one remaining in the half. One more snap coming before halftime. They'll throw it on first down. He tosses one high and deep down the left side. The pass falls incomplete, and that's how we'll finish this half. The Razorbacks will kick it away first, and we'll start the second half. He'll bring it out. It's Hunter. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out in the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. They'll run the RPO and fire to the right. 
He's just winning that matchup in the slot every time. And when you put him in the slot, when he's close to the quarterback, it's an easier throw. We can run in, we can run out, and really take advantage of his versatility of the guy in slot position. Gets the nose of the ball to the 25, giving one. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong, and I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage. They create separation. They wrap running. The expressway is wide open. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. And as a defense, how scary is it having to defend this guy? He's one of the fastest players in America, and you saw it on that last play. It's not necessarily throwing him the ball over your head. They just get it to him quickly. The hard part now is running and tackling that guy. Not easy to do. The first thing you have to do to make these plays successful offensively is I have to block the edge. I, I got to get my speed so in space. They didn't do a good job of getting that guy out there in space where he could really use his jets. Nice job by the defense understanding it, seeing it, rallying to it, and tackling that guy for a loss. And the Buffaloes want to crank the tempo. On third and long, a check down would be the last resort. And he got a hand in there, knocks it away incomplete. When you get the incompletion there on third down, you've still got a half of football basically to play. Do you trust your defense down one possession to get it back to give you a shot? If you don't, you've got to stay out there and you've got to go for this and you've got to dial up your best play to stay on the field. On fourth down, trying to find his man. Gonna let it fly. Can't hook up on the long throw and fourth down goes by the boards for this offense. Looking for a productive play on first down. Defense showing plenty of pre-snap movement of their own. Looking to go up top on first down. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there for his second down. Not many receivers like to get hit. They just don't, okay? They're prima donnas. That's what they are. That's who they are. Nice job by the defender. You could tell. He was catching the football. He was going to put a hit on him to make sure he had to think about something later, and you could see the ball pop out. He's close. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. They've got him wobbling after that big play now to pay it off on first and 10 from inside the 15. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. And he's sprinting. He'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Arkansas! Offense gets the job done again. You want to build that cushion as we get deeper into the second half. Man, it makes it easy, doesn't it? You start getting up by a couple possessions, making the offense very predictable on the other side. Great job by the offense extending their lead. And he splits the uprights on the extra point. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. And the returner will be brought down. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. That fourth down gamble didn't pay off on the last drive, and it led to giving up a scoring drive, David. Yeah, and everybody wants to go for it on fourth down. Every and it's picked off. Looking for more room. He's at the 30. At the 20. And he has taken it all the way back. Touchdown, Razorbacks. The DB saw it. He thought, don't drop it, don't drop it. Then thought, don't get caught, don't get caught. And he did the pick six. Hey, these guys can play offense, too. Now, look at this. I showed you I can be a wide receiver. Coach might split them out a wide receiver next week after making that big play. But defense, great job making the interception. And you're right, doing something with it. Don't just slide down. Don't be content. Take that thing all the way back, brother. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Looking to move it through the air. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. Yeah, 
Hits her out. Nice job getting the ball out of his hands quickly. Right receiver, the quarterback. Nice job being on the same page. Nice completion. Nice catch. Looking to throw, it's Sanders. Fires one high and deep. What a spectacular grab there as they try to finish this game with a little something to feel good about. Touchdown, Buffalo! And once he found some daylight, it was time to make a house call. Quarterbacks love receivers that can get separation, but that amount of separation uh, is a little excessive. I agree, Reese, and I think the defense needs to have a little powwow on the sidelines and talk about what just happened because that was an absolute busted coverage on the back end. Defense can't keep playing like that. Here he comes from inside his own five. And the coverage team gets the returner on the ground. The Hogs send that offense back onto the field. David, they love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did a great job. The offense was clicking. Everything went well. Palmer, they executed and got the touchdown. And they really were in a nice rhythm as well. And I'd love to see that here on the next drive, too. Just keep doing what you're doing. Everything seems to be working, and you seem to have this defense on their heels. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Third down. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. Linebackers trying to create some confusion. They'll try to get the first through the air. He's got an open man. At the 45 on his way. He was just a breath from taking that one all the way, and he'll run that momentum right into the fourth quarter. They'll break the seal on this quarter here on first down. They'll run the ball. The clock is on their side. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set them a good second down. Back to the ground with the running back. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. Good job by the QB there, using his cadence, using his clapping, trying to get this defense offside. On the that last one was just a crushing penalty for this defense. Here comes second and one. The give to the tailback. And the Razorbacks get enough for the first down. And I don't care if I get it by 2, by 20, by 30, by 40. I just, I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be sexy, but I got to make sure I get to that stick, get to the first down mark. Looking to pass. It's Green. Throws to the wideout. And this is dropped. Incomplete pass. He had a huge gain in his fingers, and he couldn't hold on. Let's see what they've got on second down. Defense trying to keep this offense from getting a line on who to block. After the incompletion, they go back up top. And that pass will be jarred loose on second down. That brings up third down. Unfortunate with that incompletion, the quarterback and his intended target not on the same page. This drive was clicking along, but after a couple of misfires, threatening to stall out on third and ten. The snap sets up the throw. They'll run the screen. At the 20, he's got space. And he'll be forced out of bounds, but not before yet another big play in this passing attack. Defense just hasn't had an answer for this guy. He has been on point. This is about as good as I've seen him play at the quarterback position. And here in the fourth quarter with a big lead, he's still taking shots. And he 
takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Arkansas! Wow, this offense, they have a lot of faith in this running back. Knowing if they get down in this area of the field, he can get it done and he can answer the bell. Two rushing touchdowns already for this offense. And now with the extra point, they're up by 18 here in the fourth. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Fielded in the end zone, it's Hunter. That gamble did not pay off as they bring him down at the 12-yard line. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. They'll start this drive with a pass. He lost it high and deep down. In the heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Got some room to run. The 30. The 20. He's at the 10. And it's going to be a pick six. Touchdown, Razorbacks! Getting set for the point after. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. They'll kick it off and send that defense right back out there to try to score again after the pick six. He'll start the return inside his five. And they'll bring him down to get the offense started on the next drive. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. This one has pretty much been a bludgeoning, but they'll try to finish with something positive late. Well, they ran into a buzzsaw today, and I don't think it would matter what type of X's and O's they're out there executing, David. Jimmy's and the Joes, they just, they're just not as good as the opponent today. And, and as an athlete, it, it sometimes hits you in the face, and it stinks, but you're not good enough. And, and today, they were not good enough. And I'm going to do the best I can to try to flush this down the toilet, not remember it, forget it, move on for the next game. Maybe it's something right here I can create positive that carries over to practice and maybe next week. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? And this is just one of those days, man, where everything has gone wrong, right? Like, they just haven't been in a rhythm. They haven't they haven't got it going and never built the momentum. This is, this is one of those days that you learn from, you try to grow from. A lot of things that we're going to show in the film room that people aren't going to like, but hopefully you can learn from it and do better next time. And how about that catch and run? So dangerous, this guy. Caught in the backfield, it's Hunter. And not much doing there as that defense runs him out of bounds. And this offense is going to have to find more explosive plays. And it's, it's, it can't just rely on the dink and dunk. It's going to have to find itself and score more points. And listen, they got beat up today. But moving on in the future, they've got some good pieces. they got to find a way to fit them together, create some explosive plays on this offense, because today they've been lacking. Complete downfield. Almost took it all the way there, but it's a huge gain, and they're set up with a first and goal. Yeah, and he's been throwing it all over the yard, and he's now over 300 yards on the day, so been a successful day. Now, 300 yards, I don't know. Touchdown, Colorado! And they'll put that scoreboard operator to work and put six on the board. On to attempt the try. Right down the middle. At this point, a comeback would take one of the biggest miracles in the history of the sport, but they'll line up for the onside kick. They got it! Able to recover the onside kick, and they get the offense right back out there. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Trying to start the drive with a pass. He's taking a deep shot late in the game. But that one falls incomplete, trying to get a chunk play on that one. You know, it's one thing to take shots early in a game when the defense may not be expecting it, but at this point, fourth quarter, you're trailing by a lot. They know you're going to do it. The defense was expecting that one. Great job in the back end. Second down coming up. Scanning the field, it's Sanders. This one's complete. No chance to run, but still a solid pickup on that one. Now they've got to hustle to the line and get set. 
They're going to go to the air on third and short. And he throws his third pick of the day. His head has to be spinning. Takes it the other way. He's at the 40. And they capitalize not only on the pick, but on the great return to improve this field position. This is a beautiful situation for the defense. When you're up by two plus scores, and you're in this situation, you know exactly what is coming. It's going to be a pass. They have to because the clock is their enemy. Great job playing pass, forcing the interception, almost putting the nail in the coffin. The Razorbacks headed quickly to the line. Grabbed behind the line, it's Wilson. That throw and catch gets them down to the six, and the defense is running out of answers. And they probably don't need to risk running a play here, but the head coach might want to rub it in just a little bit. Touchdown, Arkansas! And the stomping has commenced. And you knew this one was over already, but how about an exclamation point to go with it? Another score for this offense. They've had themselves a great day, and the stats just continue to pile up. We'll try to follow that last touchdown with an onside kick. They're on it, and they get it back for another drive. And how about it, man? Just aggressiveness. Wait, you've already got the lead. you got a comfortable lead. You're sitting pretty for this offense. Actually, this coach says, I want more. I want to get this onside kick. And not only do they try it, they get it. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Catch in the middle. It's Armstrong. And he's running in the open. And he's still on his feet, but finally out of bounds after a terrific run. Big play in the running game for this offense. Timeout is called with just two seconds left to go. And here we go. Final play of the game right here. They'll run it. And he takes it in on the final play of the game. You play through the echo of the whistle, and they did that with the ceiling touchdown. And some people might say that's piling on, and I get it, but they're not throwing the football all the yard. They're running the football, getting the other guys in the football game. It's your job to stop it, and they're just adding stats to the stat code. This is what you're looking for when you have the better team. Go out and show it. Don't fool around with them. Go out and play to a standard of excellence. Just dominate. You know you're going to take care of business. You know you're going to win. It's only, it's like how many? How many can I win by? And I like that you keep your foot on the gas and just continue to pile it on. It's their job to stop you. Let them do their job. You just keep going on. It's not about the X's and the O's. It's the Jimmy's and the Joe's. This is why recruiting is so important in college football. They just add better players. More physical. They were faster, and it showed today. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.